NCTV45 presents The Thought for the Day. Monday through Friday, we give you a message of spirituality and inspiration. Hi, my name is Anthony Pampina, and this is our thought from the day. It comes from Matthew chapter 18 on repeated forgiveness. Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. A simple but profound passage from the Gospel of Matthew here. Why? Unforgiveness is a huge block to intimacy with the Lord. Anytime we encounter people in our lives that maybe they've wounded us, hurt us, caused us pain, have failed to love us in whatever way, it's easy to harbor that unforgiveness against them. But when we do that, it prevents us from fully entering into prayer, from fully entering into intimacy with the Lord. What I'd like to, to challenge you to do is, is take five minutes and sit down and ask the Lord to show you, is there anyone in your life where there's un unforgiveness there? Is there anyone in your life that has wronged you that you need to forgive? And this is the reality, is that even though we forgive people in our lives that have hurt us, it doesn't mean that we have to have a perfect relationship with them. But that forgiveness, what it does is it frees us up from that hindrance, from that block that prevents us from true intimacy with the Lord. Yes, maybe it's the case that the Lord might prompt us to go after that forgiveness and take some concrete steps to amend that relationship. But that forgiveness is an essential first step because it, it drastically impacts our relationship with God. So take that time to pray and say, okay, Lord, help me to see if any unforgiveness is blocking my heart today. And that's our thought for the day.